All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be looking at the adjustable party size mod for Baldur's Gate 3, the one-click install version using the new built-in mod manager. So the first thing you need to do is install Baldur's Gate 3 and make sure it is updated to the latest version so that you can use the latest version of all of the different mods inside of their library of available mods that are one click install only. Once you've got this open, especially if you haven't played in a while, you'll notice there's this fancy new button in the center of your screen that says mod manager. This is not a mod itself. This is just built into the base game. Now, if you click on that, you will see a whole host of different mods, including the one that we want to play with. It might be useful to you because you're probably noticing that it says to install instead of subscribe when you click on these different mods. It might be useful for you to create an account with the Larian modding sort of system that goes to mod.io that will help kind of manage and control your mods from your account. But it's not necessarily required for all mods. I think there's just a couple that might require it. Uh, and once you've kind of done that, you can either find it here on the front page, adjustable party limit, or you can search for party up here and hit enter. Once you do, we're just gonna click on this one. It'll give you some information about how the mod works. There are a couple points in the game where you have to reduce your party limit back to four in order to not break the game. And it notes that down here. Uh, otherwise, there's really only one conflict that it has with a certain hot bar mod that I don't use. And when you're ready to use it or install it, just click on subscribe and it'll automatically do the installation for you. It's a whopping 1.6 megabytes in size. Do note that you will need all of your friends to have the same set of mods if they want to play with you using this mod. Once you've got it installed, you can exit out of the modding area and you can boot up a new game and uh, get to the point where you can go to your camp and then you can increase your party size and then invite everyone else to your party. So once you have the mod installed correctly, you'll see this pop up window when you load into the game that says the adjustable party limit has been successfully installed. And then if I click accept, this will basically run me through all of the different information about how this works. The real information in here that I would suggest reading through this thoroughly that you really want to absorb is the conflicts that you can have happen when you use this mod. Uh, the way that you activate it, once you've read through those first couple blurbs, is inside your hotbar, if you go to the passives section, the little tab down here at the bottom, there's a little blue schematic icon that turns on the mod. Now, I do recommend you run through this tutorial because it will talk to you about how to fix some of the hiccups that happen with this mod. Like you have to temporarily reduce your party size to four in order to actually perform a long rest and heal your party. And then you'll also have a couple moments in the game where you might have to reduce your party back to four in order to not break it. Otherwise, if I skip through all this, it's also not compatible with Hotbar mod two. So keep that in mind as well. But the way that this basically works is if you want to increase your party limit size, you use this new spell with an up arrow. Or if you want to reduce the party size, you use the new spell that has a down arrow. The exclamation mark uninstalls the mod or disables the mod for this playthrough or turns it off when you're not using it currently. And, uh, the exclamation mark button will temporarily like uninstall the mod. And you can then turn up to the main menu and disable the mod or uninstall it if you don't want to use it anymore. Um, but basically the way that this works is when I increase the size of my party by casting this spell, I can increase it up to, to like, I don't know, 16 different slots. And it won't take full effect until I click on the two hammers, which applies the new party limit to the game. And then it'll ask me to wait five seconds before I do anything else and start inviting people. It'll actually put a temporarily like unconscious bonked on the head debuff on my character for a moment. 
And then after five seconds, we should be good to go. And then at any time, we can also click on the decrease size of the party limit and reverse the effect as well. Note that when you're doing a long rest, there will be a temporary button that says temporarily reduce your party to five in order to sleep. And there's a lot of pop-ups to remind you that, hey, you just changed the party to four people or seven people or 16 people, whatever. There's a bunch of pop-ups that kind of keep you apprised of what's going on. So just kind of pay attention to what you're clicking on and you should be good. But once you increase your party size and everybody's using the same mod, you should then be able to invite your friends into the game without any problem. Although I will note <clears throat> that a lot of these multiplayer mods are currently broken as of the most recent patch. So your mileage, <coughs> I will however note that as of patch number eight, somewhere in there, a lot of these multiplayer mods have been broken. So your mileage may vary depending on what you're trying to do. And you might need to wait until they get updated again by their respective creators. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody and have a good one.